Hey y'all, I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. Welcome back to another What's for Dinner. I've got some really great meals planned for this week, and we're gonna get started in just a second, but I've got two things I wanna ask of you. If you haven't sent in your favorite recipe and you would like for it to be featured in our Subby Supper segment, make sure you do that. Email me at mandyinthemaking2018 at gmail.com. And secondly, be sure that you stay tuned to the very end of the video. I have a very exciting announcement, especially if you're a YouTube creator. Let's get started. Tonight we're making a really simple but tasty meal. We're gonna have some pan fried pork chops with onions. And then we're also doing my mom's brown rice recipe, which I've shared before, but I'm gonna share again because it's so good and so simple. You only need three ingredients for the brown rice. I've got a cup of long grain white rice, just plain, not the instant. One can of French onion soup one can of beef consomme. I've already preheated my oven to 350 degrees. I'm gonna cover this and put it in the oven for about 50 to 60 minutes. brown rice has been in the oven for just a little bit. I'm gonna get started on the pork chops. I need to chop up some rosemary, sage, and thyme. three bone-in pork chops right here. I'm just going to season both sides with some salt and pepper, some nature seasons, and some paprika. I've got this large skillet heated to medium high heat. I'm just gonna add some olive oil in here. We're gonna cook these until they're completely done, probably about five to seven minutes on each side. Now that these are cooked all the way through, I'm just gonna put some aluminum foil over top just to keep them warm. They will go back in the pan in just a little bit. In this same pan, I'm gonna add all of our onions. Just gonna saute these for a couple of minutes until they're pretty soft. I'm also gonna add in our rosemary, sage, and thyme. I've got three fourths a cup of chicken broth. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And we're gonna pour this over the onions. I'm gonna let it cook down, kind of reduce down, and then we'll put the pork chops back in.
love the way that um, Dijon mustard sauce reduction mm -hmm. that that just looks so good. Oh yeah, that sauce is amazing with the Dijon mustard. Yeah, yeah, and all of those wonderful herbs that you have in there. Mm -hmm. It's out of this world. I mean, it's really, really good. It's something you would order in a restaurant. Oh, for sure. It's very, uh, I mean, it's, it's so easy that you, you prepared this in... Like no time. It's in so no easy. time. It's yeah. so easy, so simple to make, and yet this is just, it's like fancy. Mm -hmm. Fancy without the fuss. Fancy without the fuss. This, this is really good. The, the pork chop is cooked perfectly. Tremendous amounts of flavor in this sauce. This sauce is incredible. And then your favorite, brown rice. Love your mom's brown rice. My mom's brown rice is like his favorite dish, especially like Thanksgiving and Christmas. Mm. He gets so excited about that. I really should make it more often, but. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tonight we're having a really quick and simple meal. It's honey lemon chicken. We're gonna be serving this with broccoli and rice. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything chopped up so we can get started. Just cutting these chicken breasts into about one inch pieces. We're gonna get started cooking these in just a minute. I'm gonna season them with salt and pepper. I've got my large skillet heated to medium high heat. I'm gonna add some olive oil. Now I'm gonna add the chicken and we're just gonna cook this all the way through. Now we're gonna make our glaze. In here I've got a half a cup of chicken stock and a fourth a cup of pineapple juice. The recipe calls for a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, but we had rice vinegar on hand, so we're gonna use that. A tablespoon of low sodium soy sauce. And here I've got our three cloves of garlic that's been minced, and then I have our ginger. We also need the juice of one lemon, about a fourth a cup of honey, a tablespoon of cornstarch, and this part is optional, but we're gonna do a teaspoon of sriracha sauce. I'm gonna whisk all of this together and we're gonna bring it to a bowl and then I'm gonna turn the temperature down just a little bit and let it thicken for about four or five minutes while it's simmering. It's been about four or five minutes. It has thickened up a little bit. So now we're gonna add the chicken back in and make sure it all gets coated.
let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. It's like takeout at home. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Mmm. That is just loaded with flavor. The way that it just pops. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> this is without the breading, and I just think it's just as flavorful. I mean, it holds the flavor really well. It, it's The sauce has coated the chicken really well. That sauce is amazing. That is really good. Tonight I'm gonna be making Cincinnati chili, and this is our subby supper. Our subby supper comes from Denisha. She is from Cincinnati, Ohio, and she said this is a staple if you live there. There are a couple of restaurants in that area. I believe they're called Skyline and Gold Star, and she said they are famous for their Cincinnati chili. She said that you either love it or you hate it. And it's a little bit different. No, I'm gonna say it's a lot different from the way that we're used to doing chili. We usually serve chili just kind of by itself, maybe on top of a hot dog, but this can be served either on top of a hot dog or on top of spaghetti noodles, which totally threw me for a loop. I'm excited that she sent this recipe because apparently you can buy like the packets of Skyline chili mixes, but that can get kind of pricey. And if you don't live in that area, you have to have it shipped to you. So we're gonna be making it from scratch. Let's get started. To my large Dutch oven, I'm adding five cups of water. I've let this water heat up a little bit. I'm gonna add a six ounce can of tomato paste. And a half an ounce of unsweetened baker's chocolate. gonna cook this for about three minutes. I'm just making sure that I break up all of the tomato paste. I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, a fourth a cup of chili powder, some salt and pepper. I've got a good number of other spices. I'm not going to say them all now. Just make sure you check the description box. a pound and a half of lean ground beef. I'm just gonna crumble it up into this. I'm gonna turn this to high heat so this will come up to a bowl. And I'm gonna use my mix and chop and just really make sure that this breaks up into really fine pieces. Now that it's boiling, I'm gonna turn it down to medium low, and we're gonna let this simmer uncovered for about an hour to an hour and a half, and I'll just come over here and stir it up every so often. So when I was looking at this recipe online, almost every single picture of it has a massive amount of cheese on top of it. So that's what we're gonna do. I've got this block of extra sharp cheddar cheese. I'm gonna shred pretty much all of it. It's almost been an hour and this is getting really close to the consistency that we want. So I've got our noodles started and it's almost time to eat.
He has been so excited for the last hour and a half, two hours. <laughs> Me excited about food? Never. You? No. I did want to mention there's five ways to serve this, I think. And if you're from Cincinnati, you know what I'm talking about. We served it the three way. It's the chili, spaghetti, and the cheese. So here we go. You ready? First of all, it smells incredible. Yeah, our house smells so good. Very aromatic. Oh, look at you using the fancy words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's unbelievable. That is so good. That's like no other chili I've ever had in my life. I'm so excited. Oh man, that is so good. It is so good. I mean, you'd think the spaghetti would kind of throw you off, but it doesn't. I mean, you can see the, the sauce sort of coats the noodles like it's supposed to, and then the cheddar cheese. I mean, you can tell, <laughs> you can definitely understand why there's this mound of cheddar cheese on there. I mean, it just goes perfectly with this chili. Thank you so much, Denisha, for sending this in. I am so excited about this. Mm. Steven has been stoked since your email came into my inbox. He has been so excited. He's like, can we make it today? What about today? You wanna make it today? <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. Gracie, you know there's cheese up here, don't you, baby? Yeah. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's worth of dinners. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave if you did enjoy it. And that announcement that I promised you, here goes. On Tuesday, November 19th, I'm gonna be hosting an open collaboration here on my channel. It's gonna be a holiday dessert inspiration collaboration. So if you are a YouTube creator and you like to do food content, this is the perfect one for you to join in on. The rules are really simple. There's only two rules to participate. First of all, you're gonna do just one dessert in your video. And secondly, in your video, you just wanna make sure that you mention the collaboration and you'll link it in your description box so that everyone can go see the playlist and see every other creator's video. Now this is a holiday desserts video, but it does not have to be just a holiday dessert. If it's something that you always take at the holidays, but it's not necessarily holiday themed, that's perfectly okay. Just share with us why you love that dessert and share the recipe. And I know it's gonna be awesome because we're gonna have a ton of viewers that are able to go to one playlist and get a ton of holiday dessert inspiration. The posting date will be Tuesday, November 19th at 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're a creator, that morning you'll want to come back to this video. I will have the link where you can add your video to the playlist in the description box of this video. I think this is going to be a really fun collaboration. I hope a lot of you will participate, and I can't wait to see everyone's videos. Thanks, y'all, and I'll see you next time. Bye.